Hello, this is Rave Neo, and this is a brand new revamped of the show. Here are all the games that are coming out the week of April the 4th. Sometime in the 19th century, the place is Tokyo, Japan, which is called Edo. Edo offers more than the beautiful sights and scenes. Its unique traditional culture is loved and protected by the people. It is marvelous. Hold on, wait a minute. What the? We have here Ed O Zombie Uprising. It's an early access hack and slash beat em up game with some roguelike elements that take place in the 19th century of Japan. That could lead us to some good looking landscapes. Um, talking about landscapes, um, every level, well, every dungeon, is randomly generated. Right now, there doesn't seem like there's much content based off the Steam page. It says there's three main quests, five sub quests, and three main bosses. As well, we only get two characters at launch, and the third will be available later. But all three characters have their own abilities and weapons that could turn into three playthroughs of the game if you like it. There's one last thing that's kind of unique about this game is that there's some type of base building or leveling up the base type of system. So far, we don't know what that could hold for us. Slaughter the dead. Face the unpredictable. Ed O Zombie Uprising is coming to early access on Steam April the 4th. You move into a beautiful little town and start your life as a farmer, but there's the god of death somewhere that needs to be stopped. So you set out on an adventure in this retro RPG. There's more to this game than fighting. You can see yourself fishing, playing games in the casino, Settling down with somebody and more importantly being a farmer. You don't need to participate in the town's activities You can play the main story without touching the other parts of the game So if dungeon crawling is your thing then you can hop on while playing as four different character classes A nice little thing the developers have promised is all DLC content will be free. You don't see that a lot these days Nightblade is coming out this week The endless void of running. Are you tired? Well, Merge Hero is more than just running. It's an RPG with some inventory management. The point of the game is leveling up and maintaining your equipment and using the best items while fighting monsters and having boss battles. It's a simple straightforward game that has a ranking system so you can compete with your friends. Merge Hero is coming out on April the 4th. The Eagle Dungeon puts you in the shoes of a court investigator, where you need to review crimes and provide evidence of your report with a verdict if the person is innocent or guilty. There are eight different criminal cases that range from theft to murder. You will need to read a lot while questioning people. When you interact with people, the game turns into a strategy game where you have to use your choices wisely. Legal Dungeon is coming out on April the 5th. We are going back to some Lego fun. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has you relive all 9 movies in the Star Wars Saga, but with bigger 3D levels not seen in Lego games before, besides Lego City Undercover. While the levels are 3D, we also get a hub for every planet, which has exploration and some small side missions. The gameplay formula has been improved on, from every aspect, even combat, and we get to see some new features like 3D person, over the soldier shooting, which comes with a cover system as well. It looks like a great game right off the bat, and I'm looking forward to it. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is coming out on April the 5th. It's time for some American pastime with our Nintendo Switch. MLB The Show 2020 is hitting the Nintendo consoles for the first time. This year, the franchise mode has some improvements under the hood, getting a new tray logic system in the game that improves AI understanding player values when trading. Signing contracts have improved setting a new maximum AAV at 35 mil and longer. Contract signing 
hitting 15 years as well. The game gets more tweaks improving the game all around. MLB The Show 2020 is coming out April the 5th. You are coerced by the government and handed a cell phone of an unknown owner. You must find evidence of terrorism on this phone by going through it and the person's social media account. Replica is coming out on April the 5th. Hitting us with another retro RPG this week, and that's Shadow of Fate. The turn-based battle system has EX, which is commonly used in fighting games, but is a powered-up version of the character's special attack. If you're into old RPGs, then this game would be fun. Shadows of Fate is coming out on April the 5th. <laughs> Grant, are you okay? Alex, yeah. I barely made it out alive. You are a former soldier who has been separated from your family. You must travel through the zombie apocalypse crafting ammo and upgrading weapons to survive. The Living Remain is a story driven VR game. An interesting feature this game has which is called physical based environments. It prevents your hands from going through some objects and those objects can be interacted with your hands for example breaking windows or pushing an object. With the lackluster VR games this does give me some hope and it has some really good voice work from a two people in the studio. The Living Remain hits early access on April the 5th. This is only the beginning. There's only one last chance for survival. I don't think the developer for Outbreak will like for their game to be called a cheap knockoff of Resident Evil. Outbreak Contagious Memory is a sequel to multiple games. The Outbreak games are heavily based off Resident Evil older games. The fixed camera angles, to preserving bullets, to even solving puzzles in the same way. This game has something that the game they are trying to copy does not have, and that's co-op. But if you're a fan of the old Resident Evil games, you'll probably enjoy this game. Outbreak Contagious Memories is coming out on April the 6th. The world is a scary place. What are you doing, Philip? These days, scarier than ever. We're dealing with something serious here. I think the year is 2037, and you're an ex-Interpol agent who has become a private investigator in this cyber noir point-and-click adventure. Clients will come in and ask you to solve their cases, sending you around the world. But most people have mystery agendas, and you must solve the truth. This is a puzzle click and point game where you must solve cases before you run out of money. Chinatown Detective Agency is coming out on April the 7th. revolutionaries. Here we are at Downfall's doorstep. Certainly don't shy away from poking the haunted nest. An HD remaster of Chrono Cross is coming out. If you don't know a Corner Cross, it's an old JRPG from the PlayStation era. A stunning story and groundbreaking gameplay for its time. Corner Cross The Radical Dreamer will be coming out on April the 7th. Compelled by fate, he summoned the old fellowship. A tabletop video game is hitting us this week. It's an easy and fun way to play some role playing games that doesn't take up time to make your own character with rules. But Demo makes it easy. There are three books where you can go on an adventure with your friends, exploring and role playing. It's a simple taking turns as you move along the board. Demo PC Edition is coming out to early access on April the 7th. Hitting the Xbox console is Godfall. You play as a knight, a godlike warrior, to prevent a major apocalypse event. 
This game falls under the looter slasher where you collect loot to better your character. Weapons matter a lot, while you'll be getting plenty of them while figuring out what is good for you. Godfall is coming on April the 7th. Survival Fast Food Job Happy Humble Burger Farm is a horror survival game while serving some thick meaty burgers. You'll be playing a new employee during the night shift and one bad move can send you to a demon of fast food industry. And they don't look great. Besides making burgers and being scared, there are some restaurant upgrades you have while you advance through the game. Happy Humble Burger Farm is coming out on April the 7th. Another horror survival game, but this one has some retro visuals that happen to take place in an arcade. The arcade has some demons that will haunt you. Janitor of Bleeds come out on April the 7th. Exclusive to the Nintendo Switch, it's a remake of an old classic arcade game bringing those visuals to modern standards. The House of the Dead is on rail shooter, but this time around you can use the Switch's gyro controls. The House of the Dead is coming on April the 7th. A tower defense? Yeah, this is a tower defense game, where you can move around and protect your dogs. It's a unique take on tower defense. Your whole task is to free dogs and defend them. The last friend is coming on April the 7th. <laughs> 